surprise, motherfucker. Ah! Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. Rex. We got a couple of uh, whiskeys. Uh oh. I recognize the name. Yeah. Daniel We're... in the distance, could it be? It's a titan of obviously a uh, whiskey. <laughs> it's Brendan Kite. Oh. Oh. We ran out of an effects budget for the Titans. What do we do? Oh shit. I don't know. Uh, fiver? Set things on fire? Burn down the building! Ah, Brendan's great. Yeah. So we've got two selected, right? This is when they do their barrel picks, right? Oh. One for Grove Liquor Market. Yes. And one called Home Sweet Home. Okay. Right? So we're going to try both. So Woodford, huge brand. Get it huge. anywhere. Huge. Barrel selects. Nah, no. but what we're learning is yeah. what's in a barrel select and how big is a variance. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you see a barrel selection from your local store of Woodford, mm -hmm. How different can you expect it to be each time? Well, it, keep track of this. Yeah. That one. Yep. And you just know. in general, if you, if you get like a favorite whiskey and you see a barrel select of that whiskey, mm -hmm. I think that would be one of the most fun things to pick up. Oh, always. Because you can compare it to just like the, the big generalized release. And what we've learned is that you can start to get an idea of the palate of your local store mm -hmm. every time they do a barrel pick. Like, what is it they always lean towards in the variance categories? Okay, man, these are very similar. I've had, I've had, based on the nose alone so far, I've had barrel selects that have been much more different than this. Yeah, these, these are, are very close. Very close. So this one is... Home Sweet, oh, this one is Grove. Grove and this one is Home Sweet Home. Home Sweet Home. Yeah. Man, okay, all right. We're in like single digits and... More of a wicker in the home sweet home. More Just wicker? a hint more of wicker. Slightly sweeter. Yes. Now a little bit of. I agree, slightly sweeter. Brown sugar, like charred, like rich brown sugar, like on a, um, like the filling in a cinnamon roll. In which one? In the left one. In the Grove. See, I think the home sweet home is slightly sweeter, but the cinnamon roll is a little bit. Bready. A little bit breadier, heavier of flavors are showing up. Breadier sweetness, grove. drier sweetness. Wait, that's not, you just said things that are, it's a black or white. <laughs> These are close, man. So on the nose, do you have a preference so far? No. On a nose. Maybe I'm, leaning grove. I'm thinking because of the bready yeah. cinnamon type of. Oh, it's not there on the palate though. Oh. Man, home sweet home took the palate immediately for me. All right, I'm still in the growth. This one got a little flatter. This one had a little more unfurling. So, but they're the exact same proof. Uh, the cinnamon roll didn't show up. A big cherry note shows up for me. Mm, yeah, big cherry, like um, it's like uh, caramel maraschino. <sighs> like First a, sip of the day. A caramelized maraschino. I can feel it going down. Okay. <sighs> on the home sweet home, that wicker note mm -hmm. that you get on the nose, I think that actually actually shows up as more of a recognizable oakiness. Yeah, that's why I like this one better. Yeah, this one, the wood note of Woodford Reserve, is a little more 
present. Mm-hmm. And I like that in a bourbon. I don't really like the super candied cherry direc- direction in a bourbon. See, I prefer this one. Well, and now we know who gets to take which bottle. Oh, is that how it works? I know. <laughs> I have so much work to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be here a while, honey. Uh, but this, I think probably more so than a lot of barrel picks and AB comparisons that we've done, this is a very, very, this is very much an exercise in nipping at the edges. Yeah. So we're talking about very small differences, tiny, tiny variations Jeez. that I think the only way you would be able to find it is if you had literally a neat pour of one and a neat pour of the other and you're going back and forth trying to find. So the yeah. cool thing about Brown, this is what I like about them, about Brown is Brown, uh, Foreman. Brown Foreman is that they've had Woodford Reserve for a very long time. Yeah. Right now, early on, it was Elijah Pepper who started the distillery. And uh, then it was passed down the family. And at the time, James Crow, who if you study bourbon, you know, you can thank James Crow for most of the science behind what we do with bourbon. Right. He was the one who sat down and said, here's the distillation cuts that are necessary. Here's the barrel proof entries that are preferable. And yeah. just like scientifically charted it, the, what are now standard. Yeah. Right. Um, but then they sold it couple times then he got sold to brown foreman in the 60s so it's been in the hands of brown foreman for a while or not 60s 40s proud of the war right or in the war yeah but um this is old school bourbon they're mixing pot still and column still distillation oh. together oh yeah okay kind of interesting right yeah what did we say the proof on these was 42.5 i think it is or 46.5.2 uh the grove is 45.2 that's what it is 45.2 they both they're 40, both exactly the 45, same okay but this one tastes more proofy this one tastes more mellow yeah and i think that's well it, it's mellow but i think the thing that i like about it is it also feels a little bit heavier mm-hmm. with those flavors like um the cinnamon, the, cinnamon, the cinnamon doesn't show up on the taste, but it feels like there's a slight more density in there. Well, if you like the wood note, though, if you like the oakiness, which one. I think is what you're, you're attracted to there, I just like the heft. But this one is starting to end with cinnamon sugar for me, like cinnamon crust toast crunch. Okay. You know? And I, I say heft talking in this 2 to 3% variance. Right. <laughs> uh, we got Ronald Sabour, Sabour, Sabour. How come you never throw me like a Smith or a Wilson? <laughs> Smiths never comment. Smiths never comment. <laughs> Ronald Sabour and Sabour. Rex managed to mumble pronounce. Oh. <laughs> I hadn't read. Rex managed to mumble pronounce Caperdonic differently every single time he said it. That's actually quite a talent. <laughs> this is very relevant to how yeah. he's pronouncing your name. He yeah. should put out a mumble rap album. His rap name would be. T Rex W R E C K S. All right. I'm gonna wreck though. Your first rap line is My name is T Rex and I'm here to wreck this. Dra- <laughs> What's happening here? <laughs> you like it? What do you think? No. <laughs> you all right? This took you a second. This isn't a bit. Uh uh-uh. uh. I hadn't actually looked at you. No. No, not at all. Until <laughs> just this moment. Read the other comment first, and we'll see. I'll tell you what the story is. Lady Lilith Parker. That's easier. I love how Daniel has all his esoteric knowledge kicking around in his head, but can't remember names <laughs> for the life of him. Yeah. 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 It was names. Yeah. Why? I don't know why that's hard. Because you harder. prioritize things over people. Yes. As it should be. People are garbage. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. Horrible. Uh, uh, so here, here's the thing. Yeah. Uh, Wait, in oh. the last, you know what? You oh, can you? I can't. It doesn't, I tried that. It no, but it, look, I'm help. Uh, this is just, I'm blowing your freaking mind. I'm blowing your mind because like the weight. Oh no, it made a huge difference just now. <laughs> like I can feel it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> but you're you're welcome. By the way, Continue. twice in the last six months, I have ruined a good slash newer pair of jeans because give us a little on the day. That yeah. I uh, some random sh- showed up on a truck with no warning, yeah. and we had to go into high overdrive to get sh- moved around the distillery or yeah. unloaded off trucks. It's never the day when I have clothes that I'm ready to do that in. Yeah, and twice I've ruined 
good clothes. And so I was like, you know what, F this. I'm gonna buy some overalls. I'm gonna keep them on campus, yeah. hanging in my office. Sure. And anytime someone's like, hey, a truck of 14 barrels just showed up, Daniel, then I can pull them on over whatever I'm wearing and not right. up my clothes. So I'm trying them on to see if they're actually usable and comfortable. And they're actually, I'm wearing jeans under this. Yeah. As far as you know. Do they make your legs look short? I don't know why I would ask that. They I'm just do. asking. They you. definitely do. Okay. Yeah, because it makes it look like my waistline is down here <laughs> instead of up here. So and my legs are only like two feet tall. It, it looks like the sound that people should hear when you walk around right. is. <laughs> yeah, it's like if I move my legs, they should bend from here <laughs> instead of <laughs> instead of from my hips. Uh, you know what? What's been really interesting is. The earlier moments we get into a whiskey, it's one experience, but the ones that change and evolve, the more sips you get in you. Mm -hmm. At this point, I'm switching teams. Yeah, I know, see? It's, yeah, it's, this more... one evolves in a way that I enjoy a bit more. This one becomes... It just keeps doubling down on sweetness. Well, and also it's, it becomes uh, less layered. Mm -hmm. Less, it, the, the, my sense mm. is it's less complex, but this, this the gets complexity. even more dry over time. Okay. Oh, I don't know about the dryness. No, you just now, the dryness? it was slightly astringent on the sip I just took. Spread it around just a hair. Like a dry white wine see, I'm, dry. I'm, see, I'm getting honey. Not tannin. I'm getting honey on that oakiness that mm. we were finding in there. I don't know, but fun little comparison. Mm -hmm. Wood Rib Reserve. Hey. Good luck finding these. What? <laughs> Where's the fighting, stealing, and drinking? If you fight me, you fight for a friend. You steal me, you steal your liver. And if you drink, may you drink with us. That's how you be relevant mm. for people. Just review stuff that they can. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs>